We're at the Pensacola Visitor Center. We're here at the Visitor Center, smack dab in the middle of Pensacola Beach. Now, why are you here? Of course, to see the hot spots of Pace, Pensacola, and Gulf Breeze. Now, the places we're gonna be visiting vary from Whataburger all the way to Pensacola Beach. Now, um, you stick around and every place to go, the address will be at the bottom of the screen and um, we'll let you know when it's time to pause and go to your next location. So I'll see you guys in a minute. My name is Michael Wesley and we're the Graffiti Bridge. The Graffiti Bridge has become such a hot commodity for locals and tourists ever since law enforcement made it legal for them to paint on the bridge. Two, one. Now pause the video, go to your next location. We're at the fish house. Fish house, what's not to like about it? I mean, waterfront seating, good food, family fun, and we're trying to get a hot date. This is the deck where they host parties, events, bachelorettes, basically anything. This is the indoor city where great food and great service is presented at one. Yeah, you said that. Mm -hmm. This bitch house gift shop where you can buy merchandise and other souvenirs <laughs> for your ride home. We're at the Blue Wahoo Stadium. Look to your right, you can see the family family playground for all the kids of Pensacola. And up here, you see the old Pensacola mayor, a monument to remember him and all the great things he did. Now, who doesn't like to come chill out and watch some baseball? Well, that's exactly what you can do here at the Blue Wahoos Baseball Stadium. Now, what do they have here? What, what makes this baseball stadium better than any other baseball stadium? Well, this baseball stadium has rated number one for lawn care in the world. It's got the best lawn care service ever. Um, he gets awards every year because their maintenance is just that top notch. They have awards hanging up in their um, their lawn lawn care unit. Um, they've got hundreds and hundreds of great seating. Usually, always sells out because that's how popular these games really are. And right down there, you've got a little gift shop for if you want to get any Blue Wahoo's merchandise, which we'll take a trip down to in a minute. And they've got great cafes, they serve great food, hot dogs, chips, and sodas every game. And they've got a little restaurant and a renter's booth to where you can go off and sit and just chillax a little bit. So let's take it down, let's take a walk and look at that, uh, that gift shop. As you can see, tons of merchandise and tons of things to be bought in this Blue Wahoos gift shop. Now, a little section for the kiddos, with little games and different little, um, little hopscotch and things as such. And sometimes they even have a little bounce house. What a glorious place to just sit and watch some baseball games. over one million dollar bills signed by original people and actors and celebrities and other famous people. The garage is filled with tons of artifacts and antiques as well as thousands of pictures and newspaper articles from around the world.
What would you say some of the things sets McGuire's apart from other restaurants around here? I think our food and service sets it apart from the other restaurants in the area. And then we have a unique menu that not a lot of other restaurants serve the items on it, especially our traditional pub pair, the Irish stew, the corned beef and cabbage, our steak and mushroom pie, uh, some prime New York strip, the prime, the smoked prime rib that no one else does. So some unique items that you're not going to see in any of the local restaurants. Um, yeah. Our service and food, uh, it speaks for itself. We have a great reputation. We've been open for 40 years. And what are some of the festivities that people coming to McGuire's to look for? Uh, the St. Patrick's Day and then the 5K run at St. Patrick's Day, the two, the two that we're the most well known for. You know, most restaurants are the busiest in the summer months, and we're busiest in the spring. During the month of March is our busiest month of the year. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now we're Porter Cuts, the greatest barber shop in Pensacola. Play great music and get great cuts. <laughs> What's so great about Corner Cuts? I have been with the same barber here for over three years now, and he hasn't let me down one time. I come in here, I always have a seat to sit at, and there's always great music and sports playing, as well as fashion pictures and all kinds of sneakers across the school. What's so, what's so great about Pensacola Beach? Let me tell you, you hear that, you hear that? Live music, always, right over there at Bamboo Willies, you got live music. Some of the whitest sand in the world, okay? Whitest sand in the world. Beautiful waters, tons and tons of family friendly restaurants and hey, you're trying to come out here at night, get a little party on? You got plenty of bars and plenty of restaurants to do so. Right along the Gulf side of the beach, you've got hundreds of hotels and a little bit farther down you can find yourself rentable condos as well now one of the great things i i personally love about the beach is just the people in the stores and just coming out here being able to have a great time rent jet skis rent boats i mean honestly the possibilities are endless you got your shops down there you got um flounders which we're about to go to and uh, uh i'll do a little detour up next and uh, just a lot of great things to do uh once again white as sand you're able to go fishing out here and uh it's just a good time honestly yeah. now also one of my favorite things about Pensacola beach is every tuesday night on the gulf side they have a thing that's called bands on the beach local um, bands and even sometimes professional come out and come together to perform music for everyone on the beach and even one of our local uh, celebrities ourselves Chloe Chanel comes out and sings every Tuesday night as well so that's also something to definitely come check out so what do you like most about Pensacola Beach uh, I love to eat it has great restaurants and it's just a beautiful place overall and um, where did you come from? Um, I live in Las Vegas, but I was raised in Pensacola, so that's why I'm here. Awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, 
for flounders. And here we are at flounders. As you can see, right next to flounders, you've got a great little pier with tons of wildlife. You can see the fish, the ducks, and the birds. Now, moving over, we've got a little volleyball court where people come out and play volleyball competitions. Right over there, we've got a bar. And right around here is a seating area. Now, let's walk up, check out the playground. Flounders very family friendly. As you can see, there's a playground for kids. And on the other side, volleyball. And they also have a great indoor and outdoor seating. So let's go. As you can see here, they also have a great arcade for when the kids come in and the parents are just trying to chill out and eat their dinner. Now here's a great indoor air conditioned seating. Flounders has tons and tons of seats, not just on this side of the restaurant, but on both sides. As you can see, they've got great looking pictures on the walls, nice lighting, and just a very relaxed time for the adults to kick back and relax while the kids are outside playing. Why are we a Whataburger, may I ask? Well, Whataburger is always packed. It always has people in it after every event. Football games, baseball games. You can never find a seat. It's booming. So, Preston, why do you like Whataburger so much? You know, the juicy excellence of a number, number two is really compatible with my taste buds. Oh, amazing, amazing. And, you know, why would someone like you two, why would you choose Whataburger over a place like, I don't know, Santino's or something like that? Oh, uh, you see, Whataburger, it's on this side of the road. Right. And when you're driving, you, you can't be on the left side of the road, so you just, <laughs> just turn right. Now. So it's easier to get into. It okay, is. so it's more compatible with the yeah. dumb minds of our generation. Truck. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys very much. Yeah, no problem. Um, it was good to see you. Uh, have a good day. <laughs> Thank you for considering our video of the hotspots of Pace in Pensacola, Florida. I hope you enjoyed the tour.